Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to Tech Paper channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how we can send task action in an email notification in our process outside business. So before I start this video, I will ask you to please subscribe my channel so that you can get notifications directly in your notification list as soon as I upload a new video. So let's get started and go ahead. So would you want your users informed about their task assignments and progress of the process? Would you want to review before they act upon the assigned task? Would you want your user not to log in in the workspace to act upon a task? Which means what happens sometimes uh, you have created one process, right? And you are giving this to the end user so that they can initiate their task. For example, if you have created our one leave workflow approval and you launches this approval workflow and you give this to the end user to, uh, to use it right so in this workflow you you may assign some approvers so that the people can approve it as soon as any request comes to their bucket so the approver can be multiple approver can be single so let's suppose i as a user i as an end user apply a lead okay so before it gets approved it should be it should it should go to some some approver so that they can approve it okay so there are multiple ways to approve it either they will have to log in into the workspace to approve the request or they can get an email notification in which they can get the actions like approve or reject and be, and instead of logging into the workspace they can approve or they can reject the leave from mobile itself without logging into the workspace also. so such type of actions like the approve or reject can enable into the process in cloud service so it can allow you to send an email notification to the task assignee when an event such as assignment approval escalation reminder and reassignment occurs by default a notification email contains a link link that lets the user sign in view and then complete the task which means if we don't enable the task actions in the notifications in the in the human task then only a notification will go to a approver which will contain a link which will let user to log in into the workspace and then review the review the action and then take act accordingly so if you wanted to change this default behavior yes process cloud service allow you to change this default behavior and they can allow you to send the task actions in the email body itself so that a uh, approver can approve or reject the task from the email itself without logging in into the workspace so basically in this video we are going to cover a lab in which we are going to create a structured process then in this process we will enable task actions in our email notification task actions means approve or reject actions we can enable a task reminders if a user will not take an action on a particular task, we can send a reminder. We can send a, we can enable a form attachments. Like if a user is filling a form, we can send this form as an attachment in the email itself. We can send a task attachments in the email. For example, if a user is applying for a reimbursement, right, and they wanted to upload their bills, and you need these bills in your email attachment as well, we can enable it as well. So let's see how we can cover all these things with the help of this focus. So here I have just logged in into the process applications, process, process cloud service, and I'm just going to create a new application by using this create button, and we can see form action application and then just click on a create button from here i am going to create a structured process with a template at the start with a form okay so i'm just going to create a process or we can name this process only and then click on a create button Now here you see it, 
this process have two activities start and then end in that start activity i'm just going to create i'm just going to attach a form just click on a open properties and then i will set a title as my form and then going to create a new form by just clicking on the plus button i can say a name of the form will be web form itself and then click on this open immediately and then click on a create button once you click on a create button a web form builder will be opened automatically you can drag and drop whatever you want i can say input task i can say the start date or the end date whatever you want okay here i can say a uh, name i can say this task as a this email this input text is a email i'm just changing the label as a email itself here i can say from here i can say to okay i can give another text area here and i will make it as a reason okay and then just click on a save button now go back to your process here i am just going to take this up to up to activity and from here just select this action menu and then click on a open properties here i am going to select this form the form which we have created and then just click on a back form okay now here you can set the priority as normal to high to low whatever you want and then i just set this high okay now i just go to the notifications in order to set certain things from this notifications tab here you can see the email template contains the default no actions which means the template the the when the email will go it will have no actions like approve and reject but if you want a approve or reject button you can say default with actions by default email notifications are enabled if you want to disable it you can disable it and if you disable it the notification will not go okay here you can see include as a email attachment if you want to send a form as a email attachment you can do this you can send form as a image you can send form as a pdf you can send form as a line so i will adopt i will opt this form as a pdf and then this task attachments will allow you to send a file in a email attachment if you want you can just click on this this option will allow you to send the attachments as well when if i user uploads any attachment in the form now just go to the reminder section here in the reminder default is no reminder if you wanted to send a reminder as well you just click this uh, this drop down and here there are multiple options like reminder once reminder twice reminder three times i'll say reminder once so if i select this reminder once a interval will open on in which interview interval you wanted to send a reminder here i can change the frequency if i want by default it is a one day i can make it is zero and i will save in a single mail and then okay now here you can change this when do you want to remind them after assignment before expiration or before due date whatever you want so this is how you can set reminders you can send a notification with actions you can send a form as a pdf or you can send a attachments as well in the email let's save this and just try to test your integration just test it and now just activate your integration once it is activated successfully a confirmation mail will come okay fail to map it's okay you can just click on okay and then activate it again here you see the form has been activated the application has been activated click on okay button and now you are ready to play 
So click on Apply. A player will be opened. Now just click on this process in order to play with this and then start your process. Just click on this and now fill your form. I'll say I'm good. You can see mail.com. I'll see 13. I can see 16. I can see I need a leave. Okay, now you can send upload attachments, anything if you want. I can say this file one and then upload. Okay, now just submit your form. Now your form has been submitted and now it will go to this user task. Now just open your email. Here you see I have received an email and in this email I have actions like approve and reject. If you go down, I have the the file which I have down which I have uploaded into the form and I have the form in the PDF and this PDF form have all the data which we have built in the form. So you can take our actions directly from here. You can approve your task. You can reject the task. It will not ask you to sign in. The task can be approved or reject from the email itself. Now just go back and here you see I have received one reminder as well after one minute here. Will contain the same. If you approve it or reject it, just click on this approval. Here you see uh, the task will be approved and you will get a success notification like your task has been approved. Perform, performed approve action on the task and it has not asked me to log in into the workspace also. Here now I am okay, I am back on this player section and here you see my task has also been completed. So this is how you can set reminders. You can get the actions, actions in your email notifications in the process also. Guys, hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe my channel. You can see me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest. You can see my blog https colon slash dash Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.